Yo, what's good, y'all? I think this is the last one in the entire remake, or updated one, I should say. This is the data store one and stuff where, um, this is a much, the data store one most definitely needed to be remade. This and the shifter sprint was, like, definitely needed to be updated way, um, the data, uh, data saving, much more efficient way about saving that and also making sure that, like, and also, like, using peak all so that, like you almost kind of guarantee that data is not lost and stuff because the method i gave you guys prior like uh back in 2021 is outdated up uh as of 2023 it will work but it's just not really efficient to use in an actual game i should say right you need to add a little bit more stuff to it but yeah i'm sure you guys have to do that right so first things first um if you haven't if you don't know if you don't already have data stores enabled you head on over to you head on over up here click home Open up game settings. I know you guys can't see it, but you simply just scroll down to you see security. Then click enable studio access API services. Make sure it's green. Then click save and yeah, and you are good. You can only do this if you are the official person who owns the game, not if you're on team created. You need to like officially be the person who owns the the, the place or whatever. Right, or the experience just I should say. Right. But yeah. We can go ahead and insert a server script here, right? Insert a server script to server script service. And in this data saving script, first things first, of course, we need a variable. We need um, our data store. So we could do local, I, uh, I guess we'll do local cache, local cache data store. Now, I know I've obviously used this type of data store before, so I'll just name it something else. So anyway, I'll do game, call and get service, data store, oh, sorry, data store service get data store cache data store i'm gonna name it cache data store 45 or no 41 simply because i know i've used this before for like a lot of other videos and stuff before so i use cache data store 41 right so just enter twice let's go ahead and set up data loading so, uh, actually no just that yeah it's called data loading right so let's do game dot players dot player added colon connect function and parentheses with the plr which is short for player then press enter on the outside then we will do local we could say local later stats or right? instance dot new then we put a folder here then you do leader stats that name and you would pretty much just uh what's it called leader stats you pretty much just put all your uh va uh value sorry under this right like you would parent it or you would make it a child for the leader stats folder so we could do local cache is equal to instance dot new parentheses put number value comma then parent it to the leader stats folder right oh sorry we also got to parent this to the player right and then what we can do is we can go ahead and do cache.name is equal to cache then cache.value is equal to zero right we can by default it's set to zero but I, I just like setting it though but anyway we come down here and press enter twice then here's where something called P call comes in, calls it, uh, comes into place. P call stands it's short for protected call. This is pretty much to guarantee that if this fails, since data store is gonna obviously fail, um, and stuff, this will pretty much make it so it keeps going over and over again until it succeeds and stuff to prevent data loss or prevent issues with data loading, I should say. So we can go ahead and do local success, comma error message if you watch my video you guys have definitely seen me do this before error message is equal to pcal function then in parentheses you can put oh sorry nothing in parentheses close parentheses then press enter on the outside then we're going to go ahead and uh create our key usually it's best to use the uh, user id of the player so do local key equals player dot user id enter twice right and then we can go back up here and then do local data is equal to cache data store get async which pretty much means we're getting the data associated with the, this key that we just uh put in the parentheses and stuff right and then what we're going to do is we're going to do an if statement or use an if statement i should say if data which means if the player does have data then you will then set cache that value to data one which means the first value saved within the data store we will set the cache to right because most data stores usually have multiple uh value saved to them right so that they'll save there now to make it so that this 
guaranteed it works like it um if it fails the first time it'll continuously keep trying to load the player's data and give them like it'll retrieve the data and give them the proper stats that they are supposed to have we would then do while not you could use repeat loop but i prefer you just use while loop while not success do then you would just copy all of this and just drop it right there and then you put away obviously you want it to wait for a certain amount of time so it doesn't overload obviously with the amount of data store, data store requests as well as just the general while loop, right? Now, so we have completed data uh, loading. Let's get into data saving now, right? So press enter twice and we'll do game that players that player removing colon connect function plr enter just like just like before, but this time we will do the pcal straight from the beginning. We will do local success the same as up there. I'm just this error message. It's equal to pico function close parentheses enter right and then what we will do is we will do um we are going to uh sorry i'm tripping we are going to of course get the key just like before local key is equal to player dot user id then do local we're going to use a table to save uh data data sorry <laughs> i messed that up data right so um Pretty much, I prefer using tables. You guys could save it differently. You guys could save it like just straight, just to set like a set async. But I am I prefer tables myself. So I'm gonna say local data table is equal to then special brackets, right? This means this pretty much is a how you make a table, right? And what and what we'll do is you need to make sure this is in this exact same order, right? Like like it's in this order, like right? Like if it's like say you have like cash gems. Uh, boost you need it cash gem boost right pretty much the same order right so we'll do table dot insert then the table data table oh sorry data table then we will do um uh, sorry not key sorry sorry data table and then we will we will do the value of player dot leader stats dot cash dot value and then at the end, here's where the data saving comes into play. We will then do cache data store set async key comma and then data table right and enter right and boom we have successfully done that. Now what we need to do is the same as up there. Just create a method um so that if it fails the first time, it'll continuously keep doing it. So pretty much the same as just up there. While not success, do then just throw everything. In there, and then of course add on a wait at the end, right? Maybe you might want to have to wait for leaving a little longer and stuff. I mean, sorry, not a little longer, a little shorter and stuff, just in case like the, like the last person leaving, like it's the last person leaving the server. You know what I mean? So yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. We have we have successfully created data saving and data loading. Now the only thing is we need it so that we need it to change. Actually, no, we can just change that manually, right? So yeah, we can go ahead and actually just test this, right? We'll publish just for the sake of publishing, and then we will click play. Obviously, I will not like the value. Obviously, we set to zero and stuff, right? I have my data, right? So zero, right? Now I'm gonna change the value. Make sure you switch, so don't be on the client, be on the server when you change it, right? Because that is saved on the server side, not client side, right? So we will go here and we will change the value to let's say two fifty six, and then we will leave the game leave wait for it to leave boom okay we disconnected now click play and watch the magic happen and boom cash 256 there we go we have no, we've created a data store we've created, we've created actually an efficient data saving method or function i should say data loading method slash function right and there you guys go Hope this video was helpful and stuff this is a 2023 updated method and yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if this video was helpful. Draw my Discord and Roblox group. The links can be found in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Scripts can be found in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Thank y'all for watching.